that are getting ready to re start recording. Amen. Apostolic leadership in the fivefold ministry. Amen. Gifts of the Holy. Amen. Gifts of the Son of God. Yes. The Son. Yes. Amen. Praise yes. God. Um, um, we on, we are on chapter. Amen. Page number eight. Amen. Praise God. Everyone's there. Amen. Um, Brother Corey, here. Let me give you this real quickly. Um, amen. Hallelujah. Just follow us in that. Praise God. Good morning, Sister Miriam. Good morning. Good morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go to Matthew chapter, Matthew chapter 20. Matthew chapter 20. Amen. I'm reading from the King James Bible. Amen. Praise God. We're just going to go off into this, but amen. Praise God. Matthew chapter 20, verse number 24. Let's go to verse number 23. Well, let's go to 22. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. All right. Get, begin, go ahead and read. Go on. But Jesus answered and said, uh -huh. You know not what you ask. You know not what you ask. Are you able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of? Are you able to drink of the cup that I'm able to drink of? And to be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. To be baptized with the same baptism that I'm going to be baptized of. They say unto him. They said unto him. We are able. Uh-huh. And he said unto them. Read. You shall drink indeed of my cup uh -huh. and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. Stop right there. Look at me for a moment, everybody. I like that Jesus um, knew exactly that them boys was going to do it. Mm -hmm. He saw, because Jesus is God, he sees the future in, in the past. He sees everything about them. And so he told them, he said, yes, indeed you will drink of this cup. Because if he's if he seen it, then he wouldn't. He would have told him right there in his face. Amen. Y'all hear me? Amen. Because he told somebody else. Amen. He told he told Peter. He said Peter Peter was saying out of his mouth to Samaria. He was saying, Lord, I'm going to die with you. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going all the way with you. And Jesus said, Peter. He said, You won't deny me three times before the night. So Jesus knew what Peter was going to do. Y'all hear me? But he knew about these young boys that their mama came up there asking for places on the side of him. Y'all hear me? Because our mamas will want our babies to be, amen, everything that y'all know. Y'all know how we do. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Praise God. We don't think our babies can do nothing wrong. We want the best for them. Come on. Your baby can be a killer, but you'll say, that's my baby. My baby. He, didn't <laughs> he didn't do it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. That's right. Now, that, ain't my, my, that don't sound like my baby. I, I ain't my baby better than that. Y'all ain't saying that. My baby don't do that kind of stuff. Y'all ain't saying that here. We think our kids is the princesses and princes. Y'all ain't saying that here. But praise God. But we that's good, that's good to think that way. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise God. But the, the woman came up there asking, amen, for a place for her two children. Yeah. That's what any mother would do. They would want, yeah. amen, they, their children to be able to be in the lineup. Yeah. But Jesus rebuked them and told them, yes, your children will eat the cup or drink the bread or eat my bread. Amen. Or drink the cup when I'm going to drink. But I cannot give you, amen, tell you what, what side they can sit on. Yeah. Come on and read, daughter. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give. It's not mine to give. But it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my father. Uh huh. Ooh. And when the ten heard it, they were moved with indignation. They was upset. Somebody say upset. Yes, sir. upset. They was upset because of what was going on. Their mother got in the will of God for her children. What I mean, let me explain that. I'm sorry. Let me take that back. The mother got interfered with the will of God. Because our children were supposed to have been, they, they must be, they must have to have been grown. Y'all hear what I'm saying? But so, they, the children wanted to walk with Jesus. They was looking at him at praise God. I was want to walk, I want to be one of Jesus' disciples. But the mother, oh come on, babies, let's go up here. And I'm gonna ask Jesus in his face, and can my children be can they have a different spot on your place? Can they yeah. move the 12 out the way and put my two kids right there? Yeah. So that's what they see, see, and so what happens that amen, praise God. Jesus told her, He says, Not my will, I cannot give you what you what you want for your children. Y'all hear me? Come on and read, daughter, real quickly. Thank you, Jesus. And when okay. the ten heard it, they were moved with indignation. They was moved with indignation against the two brethren. Against the two brethren. But Jesus called unto, called them unto him uh -huh. and said, "What do you say? Ye know that the princes of the Gentiles uh -huh. exercise 
exercise dominion over them. Over them. And they that are great exercise authority upon them. Go on to read. But it shall not be so among you. Uh huh. But whosoever would be great among you. Let him, him to be great among you. Let him be your minister. Let him be your minister. Come on and read. And whosoever would be chief among you. Chief among you. Let him be your servant. Let him be your servant. So as high as you go, as a lower you go. Y'all hear what I just said? See, if you're, if you're going to plateaus in God and God is raising you up, that's how low you're supposed to go. How far, how far God take you up is how low you're supposed to go. You're supposed to be more in humility. Y'all hear what I just said? No matter how, if God show you revelations, God show you its mysteries, God show, that's, what they, that's what he did with you, Paul. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's what he did with Paul. Paul, the Bible says Paul was a man that was born out of due season. He was not one of the twelve. He was born out of due season. God met him on the road to Damascus. Are y'all still here? He met him on the road to Damascus. Jesus chose him himself. Being a murderer. Y'all hear me? Being a murderer, but listen to this. God, Amen. After He saved him, after He, Amen, changed His name from Saul to Paul, because in the Hebrew tongue, Amen, praise God, Saul is supposed to be Paul. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So listen to what I'm saying. So Paul, Amen, praise God. The Bible says God, Paul sought God three times to move a thorn from Him. And he said, God, he said, I'm asking you to move this thorn from me, God. Move this thorn away from me, God. Move this away. God said, God said, my grace is sufficient for you. The Bible says he asked God to move this, this thorn that, is a, that has been sent from Satan. That's right. God left it there. Y'all hear me? And, and Paul tells the rest of the testimony. He said, because he said, God left it there because he said, I will be puffed up above, I'll be above, I'll be beyond measure. Y'all hear me? Paul was getting revelations from God that Peter didn't get. Amen. Amen. Right. 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 Amen. Paul was getting stuff that Peter didn't get. Amen. Y'all hear me? Paul wrote most of the book of the New Testament more than Peter did. Amen. Yes, sir. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Oh, Lord Jesus. The Bible says even, he told Peter, he said, Peter, he said, there's going to be one, amen, praise God, when you become old, there's going to be one that's going to lead you by the hand. That's right. He was prophesying to him about Paul. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. The reason why I brought that up about the, the he said, him that would be a minister among you. Yeah. Then he said, a chief among you. If you notice how he changed the, the different dynamics. Listen, listen to me, y'all. Oh, Lord Jesus. Listen to the dynamics of what he said. Praise God, my sisters and brothers. Brother Gordon, listen, listen to this, Brother Bray. Praise God. He said, but read that 26 verse again, daughter. Read it. 26. Um, but it shall not be so among, among you, you. But whosoever will be great among you. Be great among you. Let him be your minister. He that be great among you, let him be your minister. Right, right. Let him be a minister. Right. Somebody say a minister. Elisha ministered to Elisha. Y'all yes, he hear me? Yes, he there was a different dimension that God was getting ready to take Elijah. That's right. He was taking him higher. Right. Good God Almighty. Yes, he was taking him higher. Amen. And God needed somebody else that he could give that anointing to. And he brought forth Elisha into that ministry. Right. Y'all hear me? Yes, so he was getting ready to take the man of God somewhere else yes. and leave somebody else here. Because God is never left without a witness. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But so Elijah uh -huh. was going around with Elisha. Yes. All he was called to do was just to pour water in, on the hands of Elisha. Come on, come on. Serve the man of God. Come on. See, we got people today don't like serving. Because serving is humility. You can't be you can't be a servant and have pride. Come on, somebody. Because some people have false humility. They look like they're humble, but they're really not humble. Come on, come on. Come on. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Preach, David Simmons. Yes, you are. Yes, ma'am. You keep saying that. I keep thinking about when you keep saying increase and then you decrease. I keep hearing you're supposed to increase in the spirit, but you're supposed to die daily. You're supposed to die daily. That's right. And that's scriptural. 
Y'all hear me? So the Bible says, amen, and I'm glad you said that, and that's that is powerful because the Bible says, he said it would, when Christ was supposed to increase, and, and I'm going to start, uh, 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 John the Baptist said, I must decrease, and he must what? Increase. So you're supposed to die daily. You're supposed to die to yourself every day. That's the reason why I say people don't crucify Christ. I mean crucify themselves. I'm sorry about that. You don't crucify yourself. Y'all hear me? You can't cast out your flesh. Hallelujah. <laughs> you can't cast out your flesh. You can lay hands on your flesh, but you can't cast the flesh out. The flesh is going to still be the flesh. You got to get rid of the practices. You got to get rid of your practices. What your mindset is, what, what you like doing, what you like saying, what you like, what makes you feel good, what makes your makeup is. Oh, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He said, but he said, but let him the greater among you, watch the different dynamics, greater among you, let him be a minister. Right. Then he turned around and said, because Jesus ain't artistic. He ain't retarded. He ain't bipolar. Come on, watch this, everybody. He said, he said, whosoever, then he changed it. He said, then whosoever will be chief among you. Let him be a what? Servant. See, a chief is hired in a minister. Now, minister and, and servant is two different things, but it's also also the same thing. So Jesus knowing exactly what he's saying. Because there's gonna be different levels in the kingdom. That's right. Good God Almighty. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say amen. amen. I'm getting ready to get to the package. 28 verse, read it. Even as the what? man came not Hallelujah. to be ministered to be ministered unto, unto but, to minister, but to minister and to give his life with a ransom for me for a ransom for me there's a hit out on him a ransom y'all hear me when somebody wanted when they had a ransom for Bin Laden they, Mr. Wade Brother Chester watch this they didn't have to raise the money no, sir. to pay for the ransom. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. The ransom was already had the money. They already had the money together. Yes. Y'all ain't saying that again. They had put a hit out on him. Yes, Y'all hear what I'm saying? And so when the hit is out, they don't raise the money when the hit goes out. Right. They already got the money in store. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 Jesus was already ready to pay his life. He said, I'm, he said, there's a ransom for my life. That's right. And I'm going to be willing to give my life. Thank you, Jesus. For many, y'all ain't saying that here. He said, my life is a ransom. And there's a ransom out for my life. It's out for y'all. Y'all right. ain't saying that. Thank you, Jesus. It was already paid for. His life was the payer. Y'all ain't saying that here. The Bible says, by his stripes, we was healed. Y'all ain't saying that. He was wounded by our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. It was a payment that he had to pay. Why just got the Holy Ghost right there? See, we think it's about the presence. We think it's about the tree. We think it's about the lights. We think it's about the Santa Claus. We think it's about y'all. Who walked the red nose reindeer? We think it's about the snow walk, cross the snowman. It ain't about him. It ain't about none of them. It's about him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. Somebody say amen. Amen. Let me say this because we're an apostolic church. Yes, we are. Some people don't like what I say, no way. That's right. Come on. So why should I care now? now amen. Somebody say amen. 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 People don't want to keep this lie together. Come on. Talking about don't tell our kids oh, that there is no Santa Claus. Oh, well, you keep it a lie going. That's, that's, yes, you are. Yes, so when they get older, they'll say, Mama, you lied to me. Yes, they will. Daddy, you lied to me. Yes, they will. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. We're going to keep a lie going. Yes, we will. Yeah. To the next generation. From generation to generation. You right. All this stuff came through the Pope. All this stuff came through, amen, praise God, Catholicism. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Praise God, all this stuff came through the jumping of the bunny rabbit. Y'all know no bunny rabbit don't have no eggs. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Y'all ain't saying nothing here. So now we got a magic man going to everybody's chimney. Yeah. And he's too fat to get through everybody's chimney, but we saying it is. Keep the lie going. And see, and then you don't want nobody to lie to you. But you lying to your kids. Well, well, it's getting hard in here. Frogs need a snowman. Come on, y'all. Y'all know we all was lied to one time, don't we? Yes, sir. And then when you find out that it... That, Mom, that was mama giving that gift. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. That was daddy giving that gift. Uh, right. Come on, y'all. What about the two Come on. There you go. Y'all know. See, that's the spirit. Yeah. That means y'all ain't saying nothing here. A woman coming in your bedroom with some wings and giving you a dollar for your tooth. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. It's witchcraft. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's imagination. And we keeping that stuff alive. Come on, pull it down, pull it down, man of God. Right here, man. Mm -hmm. Worthy, hallelujah, thank you. As soon as you walk into a convenience store, not a convenience store, but a, 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 a Nemo Marcus or a, 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 some of the store, they got music to play some 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 blood, some, blood, some blood messages inside their music yes. to get you in the the, the bind spirit. Yes. Right. Y'all ain't saying that again. Oh, I feel the whole, I feel the, the spirit of Christmas. I'm gonna buy me, I'm gonna spend my whole paycheck up in here. And y'all ain't saying that won't get your tithes, but you're gonna spend all your money. Come on, man of God. Hallelujah. Well. That's good. And go in debt. That's good. That's good. In this time of season. God bless you. Yes, we will. Go in debt. Yes, we will. Y'all ain't saying why y'all ain't talking to me, y'all. Yes, because we in debt. <laughs> <laughs> Max out our credit cards. Because you want to do this. You want to. Come on, y'all. Yes, God. Yes, God. That's the truth. One of my grandbabies asked for a Rolex watch. What? A Rolex watch. You ain't number seven years old. Asking for a Rolex watch? I mean, with a straight face and look at you. Yes, yes, yes. Ask me for a five hundred dollar video game? Yes. I said, I told him. I looked him in the face. Now, just let me tell you something. I ain't buy that for your mama and him. I ain't buying it for you. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Talk about Sister Mary. I looked at my grandmother. Uh huh. Uh, you, your mom and daddy, that's the reason why you got your mom and daddy. Amen. And I'm your grandpappy. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Amen. I love my grandkids. I'm going to do what I can for them. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Amen. But I ain't going to do something that I ain't did for their mom and them. Amen. I ain't going to go in debt. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Well, anyhow, I ain't going to go that way, y'all. Sorry. It's all right. God Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We love our children. We love our grandkids. Amen. Amen. I'm glad that I, Brother Corey, I, I, I pray for you. I pray for you. Amen. I pray for you. Because, let me tell you something. I love to see my grandkids come. And Sister Kathy, I love to see them go. Amen. Come on. They can come. They can go. I pray for y'all, Mother, Mother, Sister Mary. I pray for y'all. Got these young babies. Y'all Y'all ain't saying nothing here. I'm glad all my children is grown. Amen. Amen. And it's a blessing. Amen. Praise God. But I'm praying for y'all. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Let's go into this minute. Let's go into this real quickly. Amen. Yes, sir. Uh, Apostle. Yes, sir. Uh, two things right quick. Okay. Okay. Um, in verse number 24, it says, and when the 10 heard you, mm. where the 12 at? I thought it was 12 disciples. Wow. Hallelujah. But it said, when the 10 heard it. Uh -huh. See, they got mad. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we missing two disciples. Two, two disciples. That's okay, right. Because Jesus is not including himself as the teacher. That's right. Amen. Then the second thing, it says in verse number 26, it says, um, whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. Minister. Then, uh -huh. 
Yeah. He, you and I both know, or all of us know, a minister serves. Uh -huh. He is a servant. That's right. And then a chief, it says the chief will be among you. Let him be a servant. That's now right. a chief is a servant uh -huh. because he serves the people. That's right. He hears from God or he hears from the man of God and he follows directions. That's he right. is a servant. So when Jesus is saying a minister or a chief, he said, you still a servant. That's right. That's right. Okay, what title? No matter what. That's right. You still a servant. That's right. Come on, give God a praise offer for that. Amen. Um, wow. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, Holy Spirit. Go to go to go to uh first Peter real quickly. First, yes, first, first Peter you, five. Five and verse number one, Minister Harris. Thank you, chapter 5, 1 first Peter, first Peter, chapter 5. Yes, God. Hallelujah. The elders which oh. are among you. Uh -huh. the, the elders which are among you. Uh -huh. I exhort. I exhort. Who am I? Who am also an elder? Who is an elder? And a witness of the sufferings of Christ. Uh -huh. And also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Uh-huh. Feed the flock of God. Feed the flock of God. Which is among you. Uh-huh. Taking the oversight. Oversight. Thereof. Thereof. Not by constraint. By, not by constraint. We don't supposed to constrain y'all. Come on. Yeah. Our job is to train y'all, teach y'all, amen, minister to y'all, but we can't restrain y'all. If you want to do something wrong, we can't restrain you yeah. from not doing wrong. Yes. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. We, got we can't go to your house with you. Amen. We can't go to work with you. Somebody say amen. amen. But we're supposed to be able to train in the house of God, the flock of God. Amen. Come on and read. Constrain, but willingly. But willingly. Not for filthy lucre. Not for filthy lucre. But of a ready mind. But of a ready mind. Read. Neither as being lords over God. Neither be being lords over God's what? Heritage. heritage. Ah, this is God's heritage. Yes, sir. Not my heritage. Y'all right. ah. hear me? Y'all are God's people. Yes, God. Not me and my wife's people. Y'all right, ain't saying nothing here. That's right, God bless you. This is God's kingdom. Yes, it is. God has allowed us to be over his amen, heritage in this area. Yes, this region. Yes, God. So, why y'all ain't talking back to me, y'all? Yes, God. Read it, daughter. Come on. But being in examples to the flock. Being examples to the flock. Y'all are supposed to be looking at our example. Amen. 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 And the leaders. Amen. You're right. Amen. That's what the Lord told me when we was doing this, this these uh, the, uh, the ministry classes. And God, some of the stuff that I, I want to bring, but God said, you are the example. Amen. And if the people pay attention to y'all, they will learn more stuff. Amen. I receive it in the name of Jesus. See, when I was up under, listen to me, y'all, look at me for a moment. When I was up under my father in the gospel, I watched him. Amen. I looked at him and I saw his life. I paid attention to him. Amen. I, I listened to his response to certain stuff. And so what happened, a lot of my demeanor and all the stuff that I've learned from him came into my life. That was deposits that went over the pulpit. Right, sir. Right, sir. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Lord. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. There was deposit, Sister Miriam, that God was giving me outside of the pulpit, Sister Harris. Because right. y'all think all the deposits come from here. No, sir. Some deposits come just about you talking. Right. right. Going down the road with the man of God or the woman of God. Y'all ain't saying here. They're supposed to be the deposits supposed to be inside of you that God would give you about the man and woman of God. Y'all ain't saying that here. Hallelujah. Well, watch this. Watch this. He said, neither being lords over God's inheritance. Right. This is God's inheritance, right? right, right. But being a, what? An example right. to the flock. Come on. We're supposed to be an example to you. Come on. That's our lives. Our lives are supposed to be an example. Amen. The Bible says we are, and I'm talking to y'all leaders like this because y'all have to understand, right. your life's supposed to be an example. Amen. And what you do out in, outside does affect the house of God. Amen. Lord Jesus. Amen. Look at me, everybody. Worthy, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all, 
sisters, me to stop. <laughs> Y'all need to stop smoking. Yes. And you blowing zeros. Y'all need to, I'm up here preaching, telling y'all to stop smoking. I'm pointing at you and telling you to stop smoking, but I got a cool long in my hand. <laughs> See, I'm using it for an example. Because a lot of people are doing stuff that they that they are not giving up yet. Somebody say amen. Because in leadership, when you're walking in leadership, leadership, you're supposed to lead out. You're supposed to lead out. Somebody say lead out. Somebody say lead out. So if I have a pack of Benson and Hedges, uh oh, wait a minute. And hold them on my lip. Wait a minute. Come on. Come on. That used to be my All right now. That's the stuff I used to smoke, them cool loans and them right. bitsum and hedges. Them bitsum and hedges. Is that, did, I, did I say it right? Yeah. Benson and Hedges, Benson and Hedges. They're all $10 a pack. Yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> if Brother Corey is one of them Hedges. <laughs> but but the, the point when I'm trying to get us to understand is that we can't preach to y'all if we not be an example to y'all. Amen. Amen. If I'm up here homemongering, Yes, sir. Then come in here and preach against your home Wow. I'm being a hypocrite. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, man of God. That's good. That's good. Me, I gotta go here, y'all. Sipping on some scissors. Come on. Come on. Come on, man of God. Woo, I feel good now. Come on, man of God. Because your life's supposed to be an example. Your life's supposed to be an example as ministers. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes. Your life is an example. You are being read of men daily. Yes. Yes. People are watching you. Yes. Yes, God. Yes, God. Thank you. You can't lose your witness by your flesh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm talking, y'all. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. This is this is in line with what God has given us. Amen. Because we as ministers, some of us, we have to make sure that we allow God to, to operate Himself out of us Amen. and not just us. Amen. Amen. That's good. Amen. You gotta get your attitude together. You don't be mistreating each other. Talk back to me, y'all. Yes, God. Yes, God. We're dealing with leadership. So ain't that right? Yes, we are. Yes, huh? We are. You gotta be careful how you treating each other, talking to each other. Amen. Amen. Come on, man of God. Because you are what you being watched. Somebody reading your book. That's right. You're right. They're reading your book. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You hear me? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. People are reading your book. They'll they'll read your your bi autobiography. Come on. Come on. <laughs> They'll read your autobiography. They'll read your, I mean, your, your first chapter of your life. They'll read whatever chapter they come in in your life. Praise God. They'll read it and find out who you really are. Yes, God. Yes, God. Am I? Hallelujah. So you have to be careful Hallelujah. how your response are and what you are doing. Right. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Right. As leaders. Right. Somebody, like you come know, on, y'all. Because being a leader, you ain't going to be acting like no little kid. That's right. Amen. Amen. Come on, y'all. Thank you, Jesus. You ain't gonna be acting like no little kid. Thank you, Jesus. Leaders are responsible. Uh, yes, we Just are. like a parent is. A parent is supposed to be responsible. That's right. Amen. Grown people are supposed to be responsible for your actions and what you do. Y'all ain't talking to me. Amen. You so thank you, ma'am. And accountable. You get hired for your job, you're accountable for your job. You're accountable to be at that job. 
You're accountable to be at bed at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 7 o'clock, whatever time. You're supposed to be an accountability person. You're supposed to be a person that they can trust to give you that position. That's right. That's right. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Like I said, we doing these classes. Some people going to flunk out this class. Yes, yes, yes. And let me tell you something. I'm expecting some of y'all to flunk. You know why? Because it's going to get tighter and tighter. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Y'all hear? Cause, cause some, see some stuff. See, we gotta be challenged to do better. Yes. I mean, I'm gonna challenge you with the word, not with just me. I'm gonna challenge you with the word. Yes. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. I'm gonna challenge you, and I'm gonna strengthen you through the word of God, and that's the way the testing is gonna come. Y'all hear me? And some people fails the test. Well, I ain't get no amen then. <laughs> Let me share this with you. I was sharing this with my daughter um, Miriam in the office the other day. Let me share this with y'all. We don't get rid. Have we started the package yet? <laughs> Praise the Lord! <laughs> Watch this. Look at me, everyone. I was sharing with my daughter the other day. We went. Um, there's a new program that we're bringing. We bring it to the to the Austin area. Me and my wife. And uh, Pastor Jimmy from San Antonio, okay. and um, we're bringing this program here, and, we, and my wife is going to be the president over it, Word. and I'm going to be the vice president, Hallelujah. and and it's, it's something that's going to be good for our ministry. Amen. So there's a lot of good things that's getting worked on that we are doing. So we're just excited about it. But we know the devil just that's what the devil's trying to do. He's, he's sending monkey wrenches and throwing stuff at us. Y'all hear me? Watch this. So um, Pastor Jimmy said. There was one woman um, that was in his leadership class. I'm going to share this with y'all because we have a leadership class too. And she was going through, she was three days away from her graduation. Three days, Brother Corey. They had a weekend thing that they had to do. And he, he told all of them, look at me, daughter. He told all of them, I'm giving y'all three hours of work community time. Hallelujah, church time. Y'all have to do something for three hours. You have to make up your hours, Hallelujah. which is a great thing and it's good. I, I like that idea. Worthy. So he was sharing with me. He said, this young lady decided she's not coming to the class or she's not doing the three hour, Worthy. being at the service that long, staying at the church that long, doing this, what he asked them to do. She only had three hours to finish to get, to get her graduation. Amen. Three hours. So she didn't do it. She came up in the church, Sister Harris, going back to what she used to do. Hallelujah. All the prayer worshipers up there praying, Brother uh, Brother Wade, and she came. She came in there and got into the prayer circle. Hallelujah. And they said she. They said, Pastor, she's in there, finna get ready to to pray and start going to worship. He said, No, she's not. And they said, Yes, she is. So he walked out there. They in the group getting ready to pray. He walks up and tap her on the shoulder and say, Sister. She looked back at him and said, Pastor, not right, not right now, Pastor. Wow. Wow. So you been I'm praying the house. No, Pastor. I ain't got time right now. We we praying right now. <laughs> Told the man of God that you're supposed to be getting ordained now up under. Not right now. Not right now. You doing something that he told you that he's that you supposed to be doing for three hours. So so he, he told her, come on in my office. I'm sharing this with y'all because y'all in my leadership. So we're dealing with y'all. But so what he did, he said, he said, he, sister, he said, I told you that you have to do these three hours in this class to get your graduation. Well, pastor, I couldn't do them three hours, but, um, but I got something I need to say to you. Watch this, y'all. I got something I need to say to you. What is it? What is it, young lady? Well, I don't like the way you're doing stuff around here, and I don't like the way you putting that that out there in front of that. I don't like it, and, and it just went off on all the stuff. But you been, in three hours, you was gonna get ordained. But you've been camouflaging. Thank you, ma'am. You've been camouflaging all this time up until now, until I tested you and put you up under this crowd of money, put you up under pressure. Now you you got something you want to say. Yeah. 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 
Lord Jesus. See, pressure finds out what's inside of you. See, because we got to get down to the root of what's going on. And if you got resentment and stuff inside of you, and you got to where you got a, a fighting spirit, y'all ain't sitting here, and you got a problem with submission, you got a, a problem with authority, you don't have a problem. But you want to be in leadership and you want to walk around and say you got your badge and you got your license and you that you can put it on the, but you got a problem with the man of God that's licensing you. That's true. That is a Jesus, Come on, y'all. So just just say say for instance that didn't happen. Hallelujah. If she didn't act up like that. But she got her license from him. But still got a problem with what he does. See, see, and God is not the author of confusion. See, thank you. See, some stuff, see, that's what I said. See, a lot of the stuff that I'm going over, and I'm going over in the word of God, and I'm going over some of the stuff I was trained with, some of the stuff I was taught. See, some of this stuff is going to root out some of this stuff. Let me, let me prove it to you. I got it by, I got it by the word. Sister, watch this, Sister Mary. Watch this. Watch this. Mother Allen, watch this. Jesus, brother, wait, Jesus ministry overnight yes. went from 12 yes. to 70. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's it. Amen. He did. Overnight. That's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. All of them wanted to walk with Jesus. That's right. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. All of them wanted to walk with Jesus. Right. Brother Corey, Worthy. he set them down. Oh, y'all on fire right now. Y'all lit up. Okay, praise God. You think I'm a wonderful thing every day? You be, I'm your best pastor. Y'all ain't nobody like my pastor. Y'all ain't saying that. You, Jesus, you my Lord. You my God. Y'all ain't saying that. They were lifting them up. Yeah. <laughs> when that test comes. Come on. Watch this. And Jesus set them down. Come on. So y'all excited right now. Come on. Where you like what I did? Come on. Raising the dead, feeding the folks. Yeah, yeah you like that. Yeah. Watch this. Jesus said, okay, y'all. I need y'all to eat my flesh. That's right. That's what and drink my blood. I'm out of here. Oh, you have no problem. That's what he said. And Sammy, put that thing up. That's right. I'm out of here. You ain't have to hold it. That's a hard saying. Yeah. Uh, that's a hard uh, I don't know what he's talking about. Eating his flesh and drinking his blood. We ain't got time for that. That's that. that, that he's being, he wants us to be accountable. That's right. He wanted to eat his flesh. Bible says they were swift to hear, but they were swift to anger, and they were swift to y'all ain't saying nothing here. Swift to speak. When the Bible says be slow to speak, slow to anger. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. That's right. And they walked away. And Jesus looked back at his seven, his twelve. Would y'all also leave me? Would y'all also leave me? Is this word too hard for you? Because of their discernment, they missed out. They missed out. They missed out on the greatest thing that could, could, could have ever happened to them. They missed out. Amen. Hallelujah. Because of one simple thing. Yes, Jesus. It's submitting. Word, yeah, mm -hmm. Jesus talked to them in that parable like that. Yes. To really see what their hearts were. Exactly. Because sometimes you can have people around you all the time. And they love you to death. Yeah. But until you test them. Yeah. All right. There you go. And you put them up under that pressure. We'll see what comes Word. out of you. Yes, if it's genuine love, it's going to be genuine. If it's false, fake, phony, camouflage, it's going to show up. Amen. The real you will show up. Amen. Amen. <laughs> we might be talking to a representative right now. Because <laughs> so folks nowadays, they, they got different personalities, Brother Wade. Mother Allen came in here and said they had that that that, 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 uh, that frame with that tore up, jacked up the house. 
They said folks walk around here in the church coming like that with their house like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All tore up, jacked up. Come on, somebody. Yeah. But the purpose of all what I'm saying is that we as leaders, we have to make sure that we're doing what God called us to do. Yes, God. Yes, God. Sister Harris, give me the rest of that real quickly. And then verse number four. And I'm, I'm, we are we through. We'll come back to this chapter, this page eight, because yeah, I felt that this was the Lord today. Yeah, yes, yes. Yes. And I don't take nothing away from what God is doing. Hallelujah. Verse Amen. number four. And when the chief shepherd shall appear. When a sheep shepherd, Jesus is a sheep shepherd, yes, shepherd. He when he shall appear. You shall receive a crown of glory that Hallelujah. faded not away. That faded not away. Read, read the daughter. Come on. Likewise, Word. ye younger. You younger. Submit yourselves unto the Word. elder. To the elder. All of you be subject one to another. Good God Almighty. Y'all hear that? Yes, sir. Look at me, everybody. Y'all hear that? Yes, sir. He said the elders. Uh -huh. Then he said all of us. Okay. Be subject to one another. Yes, he did. Accountable. Yes, he did. Submit yourselves to one another. Yes, Don't think you are better than somebody else. Right. Talking down. Acting like you arrived. Y'all hear me? And some of y'all better get some of this stuff together. Y'all hear me? Thank you. you wronged somebody. You said something wrong to somebody. You did something wrong to somebody. You got to repent for that stuff. That's right. And don't think your repentance is going back in their face and smiling at them. I said that's true. Right, sir. Don't think that. That's right. Worthy. Amen. Because repentance is you open your mouth up and you saying I'm sorry. And apologizing. Y'all hear me? Because people come up in and they'll tell me, Pastor, you done me, you said this to me, you done. And I, I now you know, if, if I if I look at it, I say, you know what, my sister or brother, I apologize for that. I'm sorry. If that, if that offends you, not if it offends you, because it must offend you because you bring it to my attention. That's right. Yeah. So my job as a pastor, as a leader, not being up and being prideful. I don't care. You're going to handle it the way you're handling it. Yeah. That's wrong right there. You're right. That's wrong. You're right, sir. I got God in me. I got the Lord inside of me. No, you had the order. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Because leaders aren't supposed to do that. Right. Amen. Y'all hear me? Hallelujah. We receive it. You're supposed to be humble. The Bible says to him that is a minister, the greater among you, he said, let him be a minister. And he, the chief among you, let him be the servant. I see you. Y'all hear me? And we're supposed to get stuff right. The Bible says don't let the sun go down on your what? Say it, everybody. Say it, everybody. Don't let the sun go down on what? So you got some mad, you got some you you got against somebody before that sun go down out there. You better get it together. Some of y'all better stop going to sleep mad. Well, I'm through. Going to sleep mad and upset. The dreams all the, the turbed and all that everything is inside your dreams and all them demons come up on your bedside because you went to bed mad. You better be careful. You better hope you don't die in that madness. Because in hell you will lift your eyes up. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. The Bible says God resists the proud. Yes, and give grace to the humble. Somebody say amen. amen. Come on, give God a praise offering. Amen. amen. Sister Harris, read the rest of that real quickly, real quickly. Yes. Real quickly, yes. real quickly. Real, real quickly yes. I, I feel there's some more right there. <laughs> and be clothed with humility. Be clothed with humility. Yes, sir. For God resisted the proud. He, he, oh, I just read it. Said it, didn't it? Come on. For God resisted the proud. Uh huh. And give grace to the humble. He gave grace to the humble. Read it. Humble yourself, therefore, yes. under the mighty hand of God, Hallelujah. that you may that He may exalt you in due time. In due time. Read. Casting all your care upon Him. For he cared for you. Read. Be sober. Be sober. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Yes. Because 
your adversary, the devil, Hallelujah. as a roaring, roaring lion yes. walking about, seeking Word. whom he may devour. Breathe. Whom resist steadfast and uh -huh. knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. That is in the world. So whatever's going on out there in the world, your brother has already been through it. Amen. Come on, give God a praise offering. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Well, that's, that's powerful. Woo! Sister Renee, I ain't Lord no, Jesus. Jesus. Okay, come on. Sister Harris, give me take verse. Read, read it, read it real quick, real quick. Take verse, read it. But the God of all grace, all grace, who had called us into his Word. eternal glory, eternal glory, by Christ Jesus, by Christ Jesus after you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. Watch, stop. Look at me right. Oh, my God. Close your Bibles. Amen. After you have been tested, after God has tried you, after God has allowed you to go through some stuff, you're supposed to learn some stuff that you go through. Amen. Amen. Thank you, yes. Jesus. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yes. When the devil come against you, you're supposed to learn something. That's right. Amen. That That's right. He came this way, yeah. Yeah. but I ain't going to let him come that way next time. Amen. Amen. I learned what though he came through. Yeah. That's true. Woo! I learned what door he came through. So next time, that ain't coming. That ain't going to happen like that. I'm not going to respond that way. Because I see the way he came. So I'm learning his routes. Y'all ain't saying I'm here. The Bible says, be not ignorant to the devil. What? The vices. Come on, y'all. So as leaders, we're supposed to learn. The Bible says, Jesus learned obedience through the things of what? Are you learning something? <laughs> Are you learning something? Yeah. Come on, give God a praise of me, man. Yeah. 